Well, hello. Nice to see you. How are you today? Have a good day, right? See you soon. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna. Hare Krishna, I'm Eden, and I'm a monk at the Radha Krishna Temple. I met Zifeng just three weeks ago, and uh, somehow he's asked me to do a documentary with him. I don't know why he chose me, because I'm nothing special, but I hope to say something of use and uh, just repeat something about Krishna, and uh, maybe I can bring a little bit of Krishna consciousness to the world in a small way. When you're spiritually fulfilled, material life doesn't matter so much. Actually, that's true happiness. And uh, spiritual life means actually trying to be in service of Krishna. And we, we try and serve our best in Krishna. Naturally, everything else will fall into place. And naturally, you'll, you'll find that joy and happiness. It doesn't require that material to satisfy. How many, how many cars can you have before you you feel, oh, it's not so nice anymore. If I ate one cake, it tastes good. If I had 10 cakes, I'd be full. So this is the most important part, or one of the most important parts, but offer to Lord Krishna. like you to come and try be a monk for a while. Actually, maybe you should try this and see how happy it is. And maybe, maybe you won't want family life. Though family life is always an option. If, if the best thing for your spiritual life is to be a monk, then you be a monk. If the best thing for your spiritual life is to be a, a householder or get married and have kids, then that's the best thing for your spiritual life. It's not what I want, it's what Krishna wants for me. So we can only understand that by chanting, by performing devotional service. I used to work here in Liverpool Street. Uh, this is like the area where all the banks are. So I used to come here quite often. But now I'm here for a different reason, to distribute some books. Yeah. Yes. You missed the place you used to work here. Not at all. There's something better now, so not at all. Oh yeah, this, this is back to Vedanta Manor. Boy. It's like Georgie a, boy donated. Uh, donated yeah, by George Harrison, which is like a really famous pop star back in the 70s and 60s. He's uh, a beetle, so feel free to come in and take a look. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. When I, when I first met you in the street, I always felt that there was something very, very special about you. It was, uh, you had a really good energy, and then you also were just very inquisitive and just wanted to know more about the world. And that's a very, very good quality. I mean, I know who I was in the past. And um, I know what I'm trying to do right now. But I don't actually know who I am, like, so much yet. And uh, that's why I'm going through this process, actually. I'm trying to learn who I am. Um, I know one fact is that I'm the soul. I know I'm Chinese, so I have certain Chinese cultural aspects. I love philosophy. I hope to discover more about myself. Go on, Ranga! Oh, yeah, me Three, get two, Wait, one! Go on, Ranga! <laughs> I've got it. There you go. There we go. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where am I going to see this picture though? Like? I'm going to teach you a mantra. It keeps the mind in focus. Listen, listen. Like this. Oh, nice. Like this. Like this. Hare Krishna! Hare Hare Krishna! Hare Hare Krishna! Hare Hare Krishna! I said I love your smile because when you smile, your eyes disappear, but then your your mouth is like so big, it's like whoa, you know. Yeah, 
for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but his his smile is original. Yeah, it's, it's so different. Good. It's the that's the first class smile. First class smile. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my plans oh man it's a big question this one the plans well uh, I mean I've been here for, for a couple months now four or five months honestly my, my original plan was to come here for one year just to see how it is and because this is student life it's uh, I consider it like learning like going to university or something to to sort of relearn what is correct in the world. But now, every day, more and more, I, I feel like I'm a part of this place and it's just the, the, the most joyful place I've ever been in in my life. So I can see myself doing more of this. But one thing that really, really appeals to me personally, actually, is, is to, to bring more Chinese people to Krishna consciousness. Everyone's being brainwashed somehow, right? If you're in, out in the world and you're in society or whatever the government says or if you're in a university and you're studying science. So Prabhupada mentioned, well, what do you want to wash your brain with? With washing our brain with Krishna, right? Knowing that Krishna is, is, all, is, is, is the Almighty and is the truth. That's a good thing. You're cleaning your brain in some ways. Death is like a change of bodies. So in, in chapter 2 of the Bhagavad Gita, it, it says, uh, as, as the body, embodied soul passes from one body to another, it's like a change of clothes, right? So if you changed your clothes, would you lament, would you cry that, oh no, my clothes are changed now? You wouldn't cry, right? You're just like, oh okay, I have a new set of clothes. It's not an issue. Stop. <laughs> it's a thing, man. Stop this. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> yeah, I feel very lucky to, to have found Krishna consciousness. It's like a lottery, you know? Like out of all of London, I was walking, walking, and then I suddenly found this place. It's not easy, you know? I realize how fortunate I am. <laughs> The sun is from Krishna as well. Krishna's energy, the sun. You know, they say they say there's a every planet, as a matter of whether it's the sun or the moon, has a a, a god associated with it, yeah. like a controller. Yeah. So the name of the sun god is called Surya. Yeah. I'm gonna start walking. I'm in a bit. Yeah. 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 